I'm back. Sorry cut off last time, but there's still more reviews. Those people up there were writing, like, big essays for no damn reason. Okay. S let's get into it. 7 out of 10 stars. That's, like, the highest so far. By Tilso, 1987. Posted on February 2010 on 20th. Where is the video? 5 out of 9 found this helpful. Right now, there's a DVD out with a few of the stories added into movies, but I've wanted to see it in its original form. I had one video as a kid, and the rest of the series I've only seen through low-quality internet videos. It, it's interesting to see the direction the show took immediately after the original movies. Before episode 1 to 3 were, talk, were thought of. The character designs are fun, and even if they're sometimes cliche or annoying, they're bearable overall. The Ryan style is campy for sure, but the show is a great piece of nostalgia, and I gladly shout the money for good quality set of the original episodes. Luckily, now we have Disney+, Plus, and if you are sus and you don't care about legality, you could probably find it somewhere else, too. But that's all I'll say. 7 out of 10 here, too, by Mintho, by, posted on the 25th of June, 2021. A cute Star Wars cartoon. 3 out of 4 found this helpful. Oh, no, another essay. How many is this? 9 again. 3 out of 4 found this helpful. Come on. All right. Unfortunately, I've never watched Droids as a kid. I was a bit too young at the time of the release. I never came across any reruns later on. So when I heard a cartoon in, my, in the years since. I only watched it when it hit Disney+. Plus. I have to say my inner child loved it. I know it would have been all over it as a kid. See, Disney+, Plus, like what I just said. As an adult, it's more of a mixed bag. The writing is a bit campy and very typical for a time. The way Snitch plot unfolds is very convenient. Oh, very convenient. The villains always quickly cut our characters who are equally evil and competent. The story arc was probably a bit special for its time. While each episode tells a self-contained stories, Droids features story arcs that span four to five episodes. At the end of each story arc, R2 and D2 and C3PO are transplanted to a completely new setting with new master and new surroundings. Personally, I feel like there have been a bit too much variation. I would prefer that droids be in a more stable environment from when they launch into their adventures. That way, it would have been possible to establish a character some more and have them grow over time, etc. But since there was only one full season, that was probably in the cards anyway, so I guess it's alright. I do love the animation, however, the backgrounds are often really well done, and there's a lot of detail with the technology and the widgets. And I generally love the 1980s style of animation, of which Droids is one of the better ones. The writers often had interesting ideas and concepts that would make their way into other Star Wars vehicles later on. John Tosh Wheelbite looks a lot like the vehicle of General Grievous in The Revenge of the Sith. Lance Peter Race in Episode 4 seems to inspire the pod race in The Phantom Menace. The Rebels Battle Mel Colt from the first story arc feels a lot like Rey, and we have evil Clive Morrow and Kaibo Ren. We bet there's only one season an hour special. May Apparently it was really expensive back in the day to produce one of these episodes. Maybe with the streaming war going on, there's a possibility of reviving it again. Given that compared to other content, this would probably be a relatively cheap way to bolster your content. But then kids these days seem to prefer that 3D animated stuff, so it probably never happened. Very unfortunate. Personally, me, I would not remind a revival of 2D. 2D is not that bad. 3D, I actually have more problems with because sometimes it looks perfect, like Clone Wars, where it's like the, more, the uncanny valley that I really hate and want to burn. But just don't mix 3D with 2D. Don't do it. Please don't. Okay. Enough of my rant. From December 1999 on the 18th, Droids, Grand Ad Admiral Murphy. 19 9 out of 19 found this helpful. Okay, this is good, nothing great, though. You can get Mush version 4 episode, which I saw, and it was great. This is when C-3PO and R2 were not in the hands of Skywalker, and they were on weird adventures. There was part that had its own cheap-looking TIE fires. Uh, mm, Star Wars movie. Uh, okay. 2 out of 10. The def definition of the word embarrassing. The, the press Star Wars fan. September 13, 2012. Uh, a few, three, four paragraphs, five, twelve, found this helpful. Warning, spoilers. I don't think that matters. I only did this for retro shows, and most people don't care about the retro shows anyways. Star Wars was one of the biggest parts of my childhood. I know all the live-action theatrical movies by heart. While not all of them are amazing masterpieces, there are still landmarks in pop culture. But like any successful franchise, some sort of animated spin-off had to be made. For Star Wars, several were made, but the one that stands out on my most prominently is Droids. The storyline of the droids is C-3PO and R2-D2 go through master to master, finding themselves going on many adventures. Right sound, the storyline sounds boring and, as well as was. The characters are flat and uninteresting as all hell. Aside from our two main characters, every character is just a blatant ripoff of a character from something else. Yes, I know, even the excellent Star Wars movie took a lot of influence on other films, but they at least they made enough tweaks that the character and scenes were memorable. 
They weren't even trying with the characters in this show. The comedy fell flat and would leave you cringy and wishing to turn the TV off. The animation in this show was atrocious. Oftentimes, the animators would, would recycle stock footage, even the footage was being recycled had a background that didn't match the scene they was being a part of. All in all, the show is not worth your time. 5 of 12 found this helpful. Okay, I'll accept. I'll accept that review. But <laughs> August 2nd, tw- 2002. A fun and funny Star Wars cartoon. Droids is now one of my favorite cartoons. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I just love this cartoon. Droids tells the story of C-3P and R2-D2 years before they joined the Rebel Alliance and teamed up with Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Episode Four: New Hope. It seemed their lives were just as dangerous. They encounter numerous masters and encounter space pirate bounty hunters. The Empire and a close encounter with Boba Fett. This cartoon is very funny and much better than Ewoks TV series. Ten, nine out, ten out of nineteen found that helpful. Ooh, this is this is quite a generous review. So this was from recently too, April twelfth, twenty twenty one, by Itoka twenty one. They gave this a nine out of ten. Th- two out of three found it helpful. They listed it as adventurous. R two D two C three PO sugar around the galaxy. Their adventures are numerous and varied. If I watched this rainy count in the eighties, I would have been thrown in love with it. My imagination is fizzing and spark. One observation I had was I swear C three PO kept ca- being called three PO by other characters. They, yeah, that's like a slight variation. Even if you play the new like r- Lego game, they they call him three PO. I call him C three PO, but and, but I guess it's Star Wars, all right. Well, that segues into the next part, but by, by UK Sludge. On the 16th of June, 1999, 17 out of 14 found this helpful. Well, it is Star Wars. I saw this series years ago, probably on the BBC, when I was a kid, and though I remember animations very really bland, and the story's disconnected from the movies as disappointing, I still watched it and presumably enjoyed it. Enough to waste my time doing so. Why? Well, I can only presume it was a magic tale associated with all things Star Wars, even as the craziest point of Transformers. Now, that's what I call the robot cartoon. We still have a few more reviews. Six... Out of 10. Colorful of the supposable half hour fun inside the Star Wars universe. By joining the film Sentinel 2187. The 25th of April 2018. One out of three found this helpful. Star Wars has become a franchise mainstay in every conceivable medium imaginable. Film, obviously, television, video games, comics, books, grotesque limbs, VR games, board art games, household appliances. Okay, that's actually true. I saw a video the other day of like of a popcorn maker, but it's R2D2. I want that. If anyone knows a website, show me. I want that. Take my money. I don't really like making popcorn at home because it tastes bland, in my opinion. But if I have one of those, I would eat trashy popcorn. Computers, toys, cars, references in Reagan's presidential addresses, everything pretty much. Yep, Reagan's Star Wars plan. You get the idea. Star Wars is now an all-encompassing franchise that has many different iterations over the years. So how does this cartoon stack up against all that legacy of the film created in its wake? It's okay. Nothing remarkable, but nothing harmful either way. It's 80s multicolorful full animation that's good for what it is. Material that could to be consumed by babies or toddlers and to be introductory point for young ones to Star Wars as a story. Exactly. That's why I don't I didn't want to review this stuff and I that's why I didn't want to review Young Jedi Adventures. Because I know it's not for my demographic, so whatever I say would be invalid. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this instead. That that that, that line right there, right there. Okay, four stars out of ten. Sometimes good, mostly not. Alien Planet. July twenty twenty one. July 12, 2023. Blech. Oh, man. Someone wrote another essay. No, no, no. Six again. I was severely chastised by a friend in the early 2000s when recounting my love for another Star Wars cartoon from my childhood, Ewoks. According to my friends, Droid was a superior show by a wide margin. He was on the verge of general disgust when I told him I hadn't seen Droids. I have since watched Star Wars Droids with my kids, and I have to say I'm not very impressed. Stop here. I didn't know that there was a war going on with droids and Ewoks fans. In my opinion, both of them are kind of trashy. Well, I shouldn't have said that, but yeah, both of them are pretty down the barrel compared to new stuff. I did not know there was a war between these two shows. You two should be uniting. Like, my gosh. Anyways, there were some nice moments in the series, including some general laughs. Well, the whole Joys is a weak show. The animation is comparable to show like Super Tetary Banana Man, which isn't a deal breaker in itself, but makes it look cheap. Ewoks is similar, but I think the style shoots that show more. Everything Joys attempts to do has been done by the show, especially on the new Star Wars Lego Star Wars cartoons available on Disney+. Plus. The reason why Star Wars Joys, the voice acting being one, I imagine what's the love the show sees is from people rooted up in the guilt of nostalgia. I doubt I'm going to watch it again if my children aren't also too keen.